Welcome to our web series on common pathogens. In this video, we'll explain what bacteria are, how they're classified, provide examples, give a few tips on controlling their numbers, and show you how to use lab services to identify which bacteria you're dealing with. If you want to watch all the videos in our pathogen series in order, just click the pathogen playlist on our YouTube channel. So what are bacteria? Bacteria are single-celled organisms that thrive in a wide variety of different environments. Some bacteria can even survive in extreme cold or heat. Bacteria are classified into five groups according to their basic shapes. Spherical, rod, spiral, comma, or corkscrew. They can exist as single cells, in pairs, chains, or in clusters. Not all bacteria are harmful though. After all, your intestines contain helpful bacteria that help digest food. But some bacteria can cause disease across a wide variety of species, and knowing how to control them can make you and those around you safer. What kind of diseases do bacteria cause? Different bacteria can cause a wide variety of diseases from pneumonia and lung infections in research and companion animals to staph and MRSA infections in clinical settings. Your industry most likely deals with its own particular bacterial species that comes with its own challenges. Antibiotics. Inappropriate use of antibiotics has helped create bacterial diseases that are resistant to treatment with different types of antibiotic medications. MRSA, which I mentioned before, is one example of this. Because antibiotics can help to create more aggressive bacteria, it's better to control bacteria before they ever invade your body. Water. Just like your body, water can also be a host. Inadequately treated water may contain bacteria, which can be a major issue for animal drinking water in both the food and research industries. Waterborne pathogens also include various types of viruses and protozoan parasites. Many services exist to monitor bacteria in animal drinking water, such as our Purity Guard ADW service. Okay, I know what bacteria are, but how do I get rid of them? Different bacteria can be killed differently, and not every disinfectant will kill all the bacteria in your facility. That's why it's critical to check the efficacy claims of the disinfectants used, and make sure that the bacteria you're dealing with are listed. Which leads us to the next question, which is, how do I even know which bacteria are in my facility? Well, some facility hygiene companies, like us for example, provide microbial monitoring services that will provide a genetic or MALDI-TOF snapshot of the bacteria in your facility. This gives you an exact understanding of the types of bacteria that you need to protect against, and provides better direction when choosing disinfectants or sterilants. Once you know which bacteria are setting up shop in your facility, you can head over to quiplabs.com and use our product filter to sort all products by efficacy claims. You can even add more than one bacteria to the list and see only products that kill both of those species. Well, that's it for your primer on bacteria. When you're ready, click on the link to the next video, which covers viruses on the screen. If you like this video series and want to see more like it, you can let us know in the comments or by clicking the like or subscribe button. Thanks for watching and remember, Quip Labs makes it safe, simply, and sensibly.